Welcome to the Save for College program. In today's video, we will walk you through how to open an NY529 direct plan account. There are three foundational steps that parents can take as part of the Save for College program. We call these the building blocks. Building block one is to activate and view your child's NYC scholarship account. With that in place, you have the option to complete building block two, opening and connecting your own college savings account. And finally, building block three is to make your first $5 deposit into your connected college savings account. This video is focused on how to open one of the college savings account options available to you through the Save for College program, an NY529 direct plan account. A 529 account is a type of account specifically designed to help families save for college and career training. Money in a 529 account can grow over time and comes with tax benefits, including tax-free earnings and potential state income tax deductions. However, money in a 529 account is not guaranteed to grow and can lose value. You should read a 529 account's disclosure materials to understand the features and risks of your potential investment. By opening this account, you will complete building block two. Detailed information about the NY529 Direct Plan is also available in the NY529 Direct Plan Disclosure Booklet and Tuition Savings Agre Agreement, or Disclosure Booklet. You can download this document on nysaves.org. This document includes investment objectives, risks, charges, expenses, and other information. You should read and consider it carefully before investing. If you open an account with the NY529 Direct Plan, you will be asked to confirm that you have received and agree to the terms of the disclosure booklet before opening your account. There are many ways to save besides the account options available through NYC Kids Rise. Families can explore these other options, such as 529 plans offered by other states, education savings accounts, savings accounts offered by banks, or other types of investment accounts. The specific features and benefits of the Save for College program are available only for the account options available through the Save for College program. Specific features and benefits include earning rewards for connecting your account, earning rewards for making a deposit of at least $5 into your account, earning the savings match, and connecting your savings account to your child's NYC scholarship account so you can see all of your child's funds in one place. Please note, NYC Kids Rise is not affiliated with NY's 529 College Savings Program and does not provide investment advice. NYC Kids Rise is not making a recommendation on the suitability of the NY 529 Direct Plan for you or your family. NYC Kids Rise encourages you to proceed only if you have determined that the NY 529 Direct Plan makes sense for you. If you have decided to open and connect a new 529 direct plan account or want to connect an existing account, follow the steps presented in this video. Before we get started, you will need your NYC Kids Rise Savings Tracker username and password, your own social security number or individual taxpayer identification number, ITIN, your child's social security number or ITIN, your and your child's home address, your and your child's date of birth, and it is recommended that you get the name and date of birth of someone who you would want to own the account in the event of your death. To get started, you will first go to nyckidsrise.org. You will then click on the yellow log back in button and scroll down to where you see the words log back in. When you click on this button, you will see a button that says continue. Click on the continue button. When you hit continue, you will be taken to the login page on the savings tracker. Enter your email address and your saving tracker password and click log in.
Within Savings Tracker, there will be a button above your child's graph that says Create Connect. Click on this button to be taken to the NY529 Direct Plan site to fill out your application. You will see a pop-up box that is letting you know that by clicking OK, you are leaving Savings Tracker and will be taken to nysaves.org to either log back into your existing 529 account so you can connect it to your child's NYC scholarship account or to open an NY529 direct plan account and connect it to your child's NYC scholarship account. Click OK to continue. As you will note, once you are on the nysaves.org website, all information is presented in English. While you can translate the site into Spanish by clicking on the little yellow globe and word Espanol in the upper right-hand corner and download a paper application in Spanish, the online application is in English only. Below the continue button, you will see the words enroll now in blue. Click on these words to start your application. You will be prompted to enter your first name and your last name, phone number and email address, and to create a password for the site, which you will enter twice. Then you will click on the pink get started button to continue. You will then be asked, how did you hear about the plan? Choose the option that makes the most sense for you from the drop-down menu. Click the pink Continue Enrollment button to continue. You will then be asked about your address, including your seat address, unit, city, state, and zip. If this is not your mailing address, please uncheck the box and enter your mailing address. Please fill in this information and hit, then hit the pink continue button to move on. You will then be asked to enter your social security or individual taxpayer ID number, your date of birth, and your citizenship. Note that the options for citizenship are US citizen or resident alien. The definition of resident alien used by the NY529 direct plan is the IRS definition. The IRS considers you a resident alien of the United States for tax purposes if you meet either the green card test or the substantial presence test for the calendar year. For more information, please visit the IRS website. Personal information you submit if you choose to open an NY529 direct plan account will be maintained in the records of the NY529 direct plan. NY529 sends some information about account owners to the US Internal Revenue Service, IRS, and the New York State Department of Tax and Finance for taxation purposes.
You will then be asked to fill in information about your child. You will note at the top of the screen that your child or student is referred to as the beneficiary. You will provide information including first name, last name, state of residence, social security number or ITIN information, and citizenship status. You will then be asked whether you would like to add a successor to your account. A successor takes over the management of the account for the beneficiary, your child, in the event of the account owner or your death. You can skip this section or enter the successor's information, including first, middle, and last name, phone number, and date of birth, and hit continue. You must then choose an investment strategy for your account. Your options are age-based or individual portfolios. If you prefer to select your own mix of investments into which your deposits will be invested, you can choose a custom portfolio. If you prefer to have a mix of stocks and bonds be chosen for you based on your risk tolerance, you can choose the age-based option with, with managed investment based on the age of your child. You can change your investment selections up to two times per calendar year. For the purposes of this video, we will move forward with the age-based option. Please note, NYC Kids Rise does not provide investment advice and does not recommend either the age-based or the individual portfolios. You must make the decision that is best for your family. In the age-based portfolio, you must choose a risk level, conservative, moderate, or aggressive. This is completely up to you and NYC Kids Rise cannot give you advice as to the best option to choose. Click on each risk level for more information. To learn what type of investor you are, click learn more below the conservative button. For more information, go to nysaves.org and click which investments should I choose. You can see that when you click on one of the risk level buttons, you will see the mix of stocks and bonds used for that risk level and how as your child gets older and gets closer to college age, this mix becomes progressively more conservative to try to preserve principal. Click on continue once you've chosen your risk level. Now you must decide how to fund your account. You have several options, including linking your bank account and making one-time or recurring deposits, mailing in a check or money order, direct deposit from your employer, or rolling over from an existing qualified tuition plan. Once you have decided how to fund your account, you can choose to add another beneficiary. If you would like, to, you can add additional children. Although older children may not be eligible for the Save for College program, you can still save for them in this account. Click yes, add another beneficiary or no if you want to finish up. To add additional security to your account, you will be prompted to choose an account username. You will use this username along with the password you selected every time you log into this account.
You will then be asked to choose security questions and to add your answers. You may be asked these questions in order to verify your identity next time you log into the account. You will then be asked to choose a security image that will be associated with your account and a security phrase. These are additional measures to secure your account. Hit continue to continue. Next, you will be asked if you would like to activate UGIFT. UGIFT allows friends and family to help you save for your child's future college and career training by depositing money into your account using a special code that is associated only with your child's account. This is a safe and secure way because families and friends can make deposits but do not have access to your account information. We recommend you check the box and activate your UGIFT code. This does not mean there will be any obligation for friends and families to save, it just enables the option. Hit continue to move on. You will then be asked how you would like to receive communication. You can choose either email or mail. You should then read through the consent terms for delivery. And if you agree, click on the I agree button below it. Click continue to move on. You will then be asked to review all of the information you've entered to make sure it is correct. You can edit any section by clicking on the white edit button to the right of the section. You must then review the terms and conditions and click the checkbox next to the words, I acknowledge. Hit the pink sign button to finish your application and open your account. Because we chose to fund your child's account by check, you will see a page with a printable coupon that you can include when you mail your check-in to fund his account. Click the pink continue button to finish. Finally, you will be taken to a page that you should read carefully. By clicking on the blue I authorize button at the bottom of the page, you are, think, you are linking your NY529 direct plan account to your child's NYC scholarship account. This means NYC Kids Rise will be able to see your beneficiary's name, account balances, and account transaction history. This will allow you to view your 529 account balance from the savings tracker. NYC Kids Rise will not be able to transfer or withdraw funds from your account. Click I authorize to continue. Once you click I authorize, you will be taken back to the savings tracker and see a pop-up with your child's name. Click OK to link your child's NYC scholarship account and the 529 account you have just opened. You're all done. You have now opened your NY 529 direct plan account and connected it to your child's NYC scholarship account. You have completed building block two. You will see a tab for the 529 account in pink and a new button that says manage 529 account, which will allow you to access your 529 account directly through the savings tracker whenever you would like. Once you are ready to leave savings tracker, simply scroll up to the top of the page and click on log out 
in the upper right hand corner. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful.